I think uh, one of the things that you run into that people say more than anything is the double nailing where you're driving nails blind more or less into the horse's foot which you know after years and years of doing it you don't really think that much about it but some of the guys that have never done it you know it seems to be a challenge but I think that's another reason you really need to know your anatomy and you know know a lot more about a horse to do long-footed horses especially with a, the double nail set up um, I think one of the things to keep in mind is the hoof packings you use. I think that's a, a really big part of what we do on long-footed horses to keep contracted heels or to give frog support that the foot needs naturally. You know, the farther you get away from your frog, the less your foot's actually working uh, like it probably should or the way it's designed to work, I guess, would be the way to put that. But by using different hoof packings, especially with all the acrylics or impression materials or the vet tech um, products that we have now, I think that's really come a long way and we're able to do a lot more with the horse's foot, you know, to benefit. One of the number one things I tell people is um, one of the old Doug Butler references. He, uh, he says we shoe horses and not feet. And I think a lot of times when you have a long-footed horse and then you start applying more shoe and packages like this if you're chasing a foot that's not trimmed properly or after you know after a shoeing cycle depending on the horse's conformation their feet might chase the length and end up out from under the horse's leg and depending on you know I see a lot of younger guys that Rather than trimming their feet back square with their conformation, they'll end up setting shoes out and you, you'll come back in a month or two behind some of the guys and their shoes are completely out from under the balance of the horse. And I think that's one of the things you really run into. And when you're dealing with that much shoe, I mean, you can run into problems in a hurry. So I think the number one thing is balancing the horse's foot. And this is just to accentuate, you know, what the good Lord gave them. We're just, uh, we're just taking credit for something that was already there. <laughs>